Hey everybody, Hey Hardware here, and in this video we are going to go over something that I admittedly did not know about until recently, which are the Proxmox helper scripts, specifically the one that you can do after an initial install of Proxmox. So we'll just go to the website here, and if you click view scripts, one of the most viewed scripts is the Proxmox VE post install script. So if we click view script here, we can just copy this command. And as you can see with the warning here, be careful when copying scripts from the internet. Always remember, check the source. Uh, these are pretty well known scripts, but again, uh, you can go to GitHub and review them and just make sure they're not doing anything nefarious if you want. But let's go back to Proxmox, and I like to click uh, the shell button up here just to get a dedicated browser window, and then Control shift v to paste in the script. And we are going to start the Proxmox uh, post install script, so why? And these are the things that it's going to do. So should it correct the Proxmox VE sources? Yes, because I'm not going to have a subscription or anything like that. Um, and should it disable the PVE Enterprise Repository? Yes, because again, I don't I don't have a subscription. Uh, enable PVE No Subscription? Yes. And then correct the Ceph package sources? Yes. Disable PVE Test Inventory? Yes. Uh, disable Subscription Nag? Yes. And then of course, this is like great free software, so if you can support the development team as best you can. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to disable high availability. If you're going to have multiple Proxmox servers and you want to be able to connect them all together and do high availability, you can uh, select no here. But I'm not going to do that. So I'll click yes. And it's just going to go through and do a bunch of configuration settings. And we're going to just update. Uh, Proxmox here, as that's good practice. Once we get all the packages set up, uh, the repository set up correctly, then we can get the updates and we're good to go. So I've been doing a lot of helper script videos. I haven't done one on the post install. I don't even have a wiki for it. It's super, this one's like super straightforward. You just go to the Proxmox V helper scripts website, get the post install script, and then run it in the shell on the main server. Uh, so of course, in this view here, bench is my main server. And that's where we got the shell from. And I just I'm actually reinstalling Proxmox for my test bench network so that I can do more tutorials on like kind of like a dedicated VLAN within my network. So I can do things like run Pi-hole and Nginx proxy manager, and not mess with my main home lab stuff anymore. I've kind of been mixing everything and now I'm going to have a dedicated VLAN just for doing tutorials and videos and stuff. So it should make it a little bit easier to create the videos. So that is why I am reinstalling Proxmox and I wanted to do a quick video on the post install scripts because I haven't done it before. Even though it's super simple, if you're new to Proxmox, like this is something that uh, saves you a lot of hassle with getting everything set up. So of course, it's taking a little while to configure. Not much is going to, yeah, we're just going to reboot at this point. Uh, but everything should be good once you get back in. So I'm just going to close this window because I don't need it. Um, but hopefully this video is helpful. If you're not familiar with uh, the helper scripts, I'm going to put a link in the description of the video. And if anybody else is watching this, you have some good scripts, uh, like services that you use within the helper scripts, let me know because I'm looking to make some more videos specific to uh, helper scripts and the different services that there's scripts for, because I think it's awesome to be able to just run a script and be able to install something like PyHole or Nginx Proxy Manager or uh, Nextcloud. There's so many different scripts in there. Uh, I'm going to try and do some more videos based on those scripts. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.